Hello you nutters, my name is Nutty8 and welcome back to Car Mechanic 2018. Now I've been away from this game uh, recording for a while now because on the last episode I said I was going to try and get to level 30 so that we can fully restore a car, we can go buy stuff from barns, go to the junk shop, buy some junk, restore that, all that good stuff. But uh, it's taking forever. See I'm level 11 and I've honestly played a good oh, 15 hours worth of this game and most of it was in the story mode. Now, with the story mode missions, uh, they actually have some backstory to it. So it's almost interesting. Almost. Where in the 2015 version, it was just like, here's a randomly generated car. Fix this randomly generated car. Okay, now fix the next randomly generated car. Uh, it could just be because we didn't get very far in that mission, in that uh, game. But here we are on this one. So if you go to your orders, you see you got ones in blue. Now, these are the story orders. Um, where he's saying he broke his, his, his father-in-law's car from going to a party. Okay, cool. And then there's also ones like uh, normal orders. Um, I was stuck in a loop for a while with the stories because I, I bought it when it first came out. And I started when it first came out. It didn't get updated yet. So it would just keep doing the same four missions over and over again. The way I fixed that was to just delete all the... Uh, decline all the orders. That wasn't a story one get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that and then do the story missions again like keep doing them and it did fix that glitch so if you're having an issue or you had that issue that's how you fix it um so um we are now on patch for version 1.13 um and they fucked up the graphics again for the last uh several patches I was able to run on ultra at 60 frames a second and now they've just gone backwards with the graphics um and if I tried it on Ultra, I was going to record this on Ultra today, but when I started up, it was at like 15 frames again, where they originally fixed that issue. So I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I, I understand, you know, it's it's uh, it's not been out long, but if you fix the issue, don't break the issue again. So we will start to do some of the backstory. They can be kind of interesting. So we're going to fix his roadster. Now, the story is I came back from a party and it seems that I fell into a wall. Please assess the damage and repair what you can because it's my father's in law car. Oopsie, don't do that. I think if you're going to borrow a car, you should probably not break it and get drunk. So, this is obviously a rich kid because it's a roadster, but you know. Uh, why am I looking at the ceiling? Okay, so this is the roadster. So, the bodywork looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's about to. Oh, but those rims are kind of screwy. Let's look under the hood. Engine's okay, but the radiator's screwed. See that. And then this. So I think it's all this left hand side of the car. Maybe he drove it into a salt lake and left it there for a week. So this this version of the. This version, it doesn't deafen you so much. I remember on 2015, I had to like run to the other side of the. Uh, <laughs> the other side of the garage just so I didn't go deaf. But they seem on this version to at least lower that volume. Okay, so this. This axle is this suspension screwed. This rim is screwed. This lower suspension arm is screwed. But and the radiator is uberly screwed. But the rest of the car looks okay. Alright, let's have a look at the back. Oh, the back screwed up as well. This is ruined. The brake disc is ruined. Suspension arm. Right, so I think it's just this left hand side of the car. So Classic Rim 06. We'll take all of this off and we will buy and replace the parts for later. Cool. Okay. Yeah, see the, the brake caliper is like brand new almost. It's got some spots like ha and ha that is broken, but apart from that, it's fine. Uh, brake pads are fine. Uh, take off the disc. That's uber screwed. Can we take off this without taking that off? We can take off this. Let's take out that one then. Um, can we take... No. So we need to take off the absorber cap, the spring, and the cup. Cap. Okay, spring cap. Uh, can I take off this? Yes, I can. Take off the suspension arm. Look at this um, muffler at the back here. It's crude. Take that off. And we'll take off the exhaust pipe. And can I take off... No, I don't think I can, you know. Alright, I'll take out this uh, rubber bushing. What's the quality of this bushing? Oh, 89. Alright, so that's fine. I don't need new bushings. So I think we might have gotten lucky 
I don't think it's that much work on the start. On some of the, the earlier missions, I couldn't find out what's wrong with it. And it's always been like the most stupidest thing. Because you don't get a list with the story mode. You just like sort of like this car's broken. Try and figure it out. Okay, thanks. Uh, so you never really know what's wrong with it. So it is a manual process. Um, so like if I show you the car status. See it's got these parts not discovered. Um, so as you take off the car, you, you, you'd normally look. Or at least I look. For like rusty bits like this. Because that's usually what's, what's the damaged parts. So I can't take off this without taking off this. I can't take off this. So I do... I do need to take off this entire left axle to sort of repair the broken parts, which is fine. We can do that. It's just it's just more work. Okay. Uh, take off this bushing from the frame. Take off the suspension arm. And we should be able to get out this left axle housing. Cool. What is the is the yeah that looks that looks okay, but we'll take it out just to be sure. Yeah, it's eighty nine percent. So. I think it's all this, yeah, he's it, just like parked it in a pond halfway up on its left side, I think. Oh, this one's not looking so healthy. Look at this brake caliper. It's like 2% healthy. Um, 14%, yeah, it's pretty screwed up. So take off the pad. How's the pad? Oh, that's fine. And take off the axle, which is fine. Can I aim at that, please? Bearing is fine. Front wheel hub, get rid of. And get rid of the front. Why did you do that, you slut? Let's go back. Let's go. Let's go back. And I can't take that without that. I can't take off that without that. So let's take off this one. Oh, I think I've turned my uh, mouse. Come on. I think I turned my mouse sensitivity way too high on this time. But I've got this, um, knock everything over. I've got this AFX mouse and it's £12 from PC World. But I'll tell you what, it's actually pretty damn good. I got it on sale, so it's like £6. And I've got the matching uh, keyboard. But it's got this little sensitivity switch. So you see like left, right, left, right, left, right. And now it's like really slow. Uh, let's do that one. Okay. Um, but yeah, six pounds. That's really good. It's the same with my microphone. It's the AFX Mic Zero One, which I can't find as a single review online. So I might review that. I don't really know if I want to start doing reviews on my channel because uh, it is mostly sort of like let's plays of, of, of this sort of stuff. What do you think? Do you want to do you want to know about my equipment that I'm using? I don't think you do, in all honesty. Alright, so that is all off. I don't know the condition of these bearings. Should I take them out and see? I'll we'll just put it back in, I guess. 1%, yeah. So, that was uberly doobly fucked up. And let's have a look at this one. By the looks of it, it's also uberly doobly fucked up. Right, see, it's, it's little parts like that that used to really... Um, confused me when I started playing this game because the actual suspension frame looks fine but the, the bushing itself is fucked. Alright, so let's take out this radiator and then we will check on the car condition and hopefully with a little bit of luck we would have found all the ruined parts for this car. So if we go car status anything part not found. Part not found. This one here this slut here, what could it be? Hmm. Hang on, this doesn't look so good. This cover looks a little bit fucked up. Did I get lucky and not have to spend the next four hours taking every single part of, out this car to figure it out this time? And I'm not lying. I've, I've, it's, it's been glitchy before as well where I've literally taken out every single part of the car and it still hasn't shown me that what, what's broken. Air filter cover is 89%. Wow. Fuck. Um. Oh. Bottles. This is, this is, this is where I start to cry, I think. Um. Bottles. Is it the, these parts? 
Is it any of those parts here? Did, did these bits the broker did? I'm just going to take off these left hand side parts. And hopefully it'll be one of those. And it probably won't be, but I'll take off this left light as well. So if we go inventory, and if you look at the body parts, they're all absolutely fine. Crap. So what was it? I need to find, I need to find a brocketed one. See, that's fine. It's not got any visual problems. I bet you're fine. 89, yeah. Let's have a look at the back again. It could be one of those bushings, I guess. The game does like to hide, hide the mistakes from me. It could be this one here. Please, for the love of Jesus Christ, let it be this one here. We did it, finally. Okay, this time I'm very lucky. Normally I have to go through every single part, one by one. Okay, so if we sort this condition, yeah, we'll do by condition and we'll buy part by part. And hopefully, no, we won't. We'll do it by type. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do, do it by type. And then we're going to find out how many broken ones we need and how many we need to buy. So we've got break disc and break disc reinstallated, one of each. So if we go to the shop, and we're going to buy two of those. One of each, but yeah, two in total break discs. Shop. So bricks, break disc, one of those. Yep. And one of those. Yep. So then we can sell the other two. And then hopefully we're going to have everything brand new or at least good enough. We need a front shock absorber. All, all four parts of that. All three parts. We need these tyres. Uh, right, so I am going to take that apart. Because it's possible that some of them are not completely screwed. Yeah, see the front spring is fine. So we'll do that. And we'll also take apart these really screwed up rims. And hopefully the tyre yeah, tie will be okay. Save some money, make more profit. So I'll take this out here. Got it. And then we'll take up these two parts. And we will separate the other tire. Because the tire is okay. I don't think we need to re repair the tire, it's just the rim. Okay, so back to inventory. And we got one brake one brake caliper broken. So I would buy one brake caliper. Then I'll go back into inventory like an idiot. Uh, break pepper, your heart, please. Thank you, thank you very much. Go inventory, sell off the broken one. And we need an exhaust pipe. And, um, yeah, let's get the exhaust pipe first. Uh, exhaust. No, it was just the regular exhaust pipe, right? I hope so. And um, get rid of that. And we need one front axle cover. So we'll buy one front axle cover. Front axle knuckle cover, sweet. I might, I might speed through this, so if I'm talking like really silly and high pitch, it's because I fast forward by all the different parts. I might not, maybe you're going to cry out boredom, but front shock absorber, one of those, and it was, was it the spring or the cap? Oh sod. It was the cap. So buy the cap as well. And then we will sell off those two parts and we will reassemble the new one on this machine. Uh, install parts. This one, with this one, and with this one. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Uh, nope, not that, that. So, we need a front wheel hub and a front steering knuckle A. I didn't want to do that. I want to do that. I've unlocked this, um, front steering knuckle A. I've unlocked the tablet, which makes things so much faster. I don't have to keep walking back to the, um, I completely forgot what I was going to buy. Front steering knuckle A, and I'm done. It speeds up the process of having to walk to and from the computer every time. Front wheel hub, that's what it was. So, we'll start that one. And that's tablet. Now this does take some time, keep uh, trying to buy individual parts. But it will help the install side a lot, because I've already got everything part, all the, all the new parts then. So I need an inner tie rod as well. Yeah, I think I might make a montage of this, because it's taking forever. Inner tie rod. Lower suspension arm. Lower suspension arm. I can't have the cool 80s music though, you know, like um, Mr. Miyagi does. So, outer tie rod. Like they uh, make a mock area of old um, family guy. Or American Dad? Who is American Dad? Radiator A? Radiator, radiator, radiator A. Where is it? Oh, it's under engine? I think so, anyway. Do, 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 do. Yeah. $200 for a radio. Quite cheap. 
I don't want to do that. I'm going to do this. Let's sell that one. And housing is fine. So I need a rear shock absorber, a rear muffler. Everyone needs a rear muffler now and again. So let's buy the muff first. Uh, rear muffler. This was that. Oh, was it that one though? I think it was been this one. I think it was the 14. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> I think it was. Was it 14? It was 14. Okay. I'm getting better at this. Uh, rear shock absorber A. Would be under suspension. Uh, rear A. See. Mm, it's like that. This is gonna be a really, really long fast forward. Uh, rear suspension arm. Was it the upper? I know I saw I know I saw rear suspension arm A. I think it was rear suspension arm like it is. Hopefully. Rear suspension arm like it was. And rear suspension arm A. I also need rear suspension arm B, however. So let's get rear suspension arm B. Okay. And we also need just the rims and some bushings and a spring cap. Okay, so classic rim six and it's 18 inch. Um, okay, sure. Classic rim six and it's 18 inch. Two, because one of them's on the uh, bench at the moment. And sell that one. We also need two free rubber bushings. Three rubber bushings. Oh, it's taking forever. Um, three. Can't just know. Just I uh, have to. Okay. Three done. Uh, and a spring cap. And I think we are all done. Finally. One more. One more. One more spring cap. So before we do that, we need to take back our working. Uh parts from that and we also need to take that and then install the new rim what do you mean there's no parts to work with if you slap did i buy the wrong one oh i might have bought the wrong one classic rim 16 eta zero classic eta zero it's the same thing why do you mean i got none hang on a minute That's the same thing. Why, why can't I pull it together? Oh, did I do separate? Am I just done? Oh, I'm just done. Ignore me. Uh, that one and this one. Yeah. And take it. And then install that one. That one. And that one. Yeah. And there's a new part on this game where you need to balance the wheel, which is like real life. So that's kind of cool time consuming so it does this little spinny doodly otherwise you can't stick it on the far right away which got me the first time so let's st start doing the engine work because it's only the radiator that we need to install and we need to put these parts back on the car as well so let's go into install mode put in radiator oh click the right one and this with this, and with this, and with this. Cool. And put on this. This does get a little bit annoying though when you have to manually select the part when you've really got only one in the inventory. Just saying. Sorry, not sorry. Um, and this one. Uh, ah, you slut. Put it on, put it on, put it on. I keep saying slut today. I don't know why. I don't even normally say it. I think it was... Um, must have been a TV show or something I'm watching. They do that when you pick up words and you don't even know where you found it from. Right, so this wheel should be balanced and we will take it and rebalance the other one. Uh, take it. And then rebalance to uh, this one. That needs balancing. All balanced. Good, good, good. And we'll lift up the car. And start installing the front first, I think. Suspension and assemble mode. In. I really hope I don't need to take this all apart because I need to replace that spring. Hang on, let me double check. Because it should say front shock absorber, radiator A, front spring. See? See that piece of shit? So I do. I need to buy a new spring, even though that one's at like 89%. I still need to do it. So I'm going to take this apart and buy a spring. 
Is the cat in here? I think I felt the cat jump on the bed. Never mind. Um, so I'll take apart the spring. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying, actually. So it needs to be perfect, even though... 89% is fine, bro. It's fine. We'll take the tire. So I have to go back into the sock. Buy another spring. Because he wants it 100 goddamn percent, even though... <sighs> Alright, front spring. Run. Rear spring. Front spring. Fine. You can have 100% instead of 89. I'll just sell the other one and make money from it, you idiot. Alright, install. Perfect one. What? Install the perfect one with the perfect one and the perfect one. I don't know why it clicked out. I'll probably see it in editing, I'm sure. Uh, okay, fine. Let's start. No, I better collect it first, maybe. Collect. Okay. Now, hopefully, this little bitch cannot complain. God, he's a spoiled bit. You know he's a spoiled brat when he does that shit. And put on the new one. Oh, this should be new now. Hopefully. Because when I started playing this game originally, I would, like, install one part. Okay, what goes next? Brake pad. And then it, buy a brake pad. Okay, what goes next? Buy this, you know, and it takes forever. So even though you had to sit through that montage without the cool 80s music in the background, at least this way is slightly faster. <laughs> I've seen some videos of people playing this game, which is actually quite fun for me to watch. I don't know why I find this stuff interesting. But, um, and the, the videos are like 40 minutes long and you can fully understand why. Because there's so much to do. What do you mean no? Oh wait, yeah, I need to put on the um, link. At least, see, now I think, actually, in real life, I'd probably know enough from this game to be able to fix cars, which is really cool. Really, really nerdy, but kind of cool. In a nerdy, cool way. Nerd, cool, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't check if there's a secondary objective. I hope not. I really hope not. In a tie rod, out of the tie rod. So I got some eye drops for my eyes because for the longest time, I think staring at a screen all day, your eyes sort of go like grit, like sandpaper, and they're feeling so good. I'm going to find out the name so I'll tell you guys what one it is because I love it. Uh, okay, so put this one in. It's not Optrex or something, it's a, it's a Chinese one. Oh, I hope I don't need to buy brand new bushings. No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to, hopefully. And then go back to this wheel, see if there's any parts we missed. Install the exhaust. Yeah, install the muffler. Yep. Yeah. And then click on the muffler. And we can get back to this axle. We didn't buy the rear axle house in A. Ah. Oops. I'm sure I did. Didn't I? Oh, you guys probably noticed that. And I look like a dum dum. Rear axle housing CBA. Okay. One, and two, and that is on, install the brick and disc gooder, I think that's one of the new ones, right? Install the, no, not that, the hub bearing, then the cap, then the pads. Now, I need to remember, I can't install the rim until everything is connected on the suspension. Because I keep making that mistake. I'm like, why can't I put the rear on? And then it's something silly like a little bearing down here uh, <laughs> that, isn't, that isn't in yet. Suspension arm. One and a two. Upper. Put that one with that one with that one. I really hope I don't need to fucking replace these parts. Sometimes it will get you like that as well. Like you just saw, it was on the spring, it was 89%. It's like, no, you need to completely repair it. Okay, and link. Although, at least when you, at least when you take it apart. Do I need to repair the tyres as well? I should probably read through things that need to be replacing. Oh, I hope not. I really hope not. That's going to be a pain. Putting this rubber bushing 
in this one screw the switch screw and then no 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 this with these two yes i do certainly now hopefully if i've installed all these parts i'm only going to have to have the rear axle in my inventory and all the bodywork that i took off earlier on so let's have a look let's install the parts on this car uh add left fender i really like this blue actually quite nice put on this door now do i need to put in glass do i have the glass i need to bring it down because on all the other games there's all the other games all the other cars there's um glass for the windows but of course this is a roadster so it could be down uh don't forget the license plate i normally have to put that on too but in assemble mode it shows up so yeah see it shows up so what do i have in my inventory now front spring air filter oh i didn't put the air filter in did i fuel pump Front spring that was 90% is fine. Rubber bush bushing. Probably missing from somewhere underneath on the left. I think it was one here, right? Uh, assemble mode? What did we miss? What did we miss? Oh, I think it was at the back, wasn't it? Wasn't it this one here? Yes, it was. Okay, so we'll put this one in. And we'll put the fuel filter back in. And then hopefully I would have, I would have pulled it all in correctly. Hmm. What the annoying thing is when I watch back on the um, hang on, what do we have left? Tail light, obviously. When I watch it back on editing, I always see it like as clear as day, so fast. But obviously, when you're playing the game and you're trying to talk, it's it's different. I always used to like mock Jacksepticeye for not seeing the most obvious things and now I do the exact same thing. So air filter. Did I just buy air filters for no reason? It's got an air filter in there. Maybe I did buy it for no reason. Because I'm dumb. Am I dumb? Did I fix it? No. Rear spring needs replacing as well as rubber pushing. But where? And the lower suspension arm. But I did. I did. You saw me. You know what? That job is done, bro. I'm, I'm not messing around. Complete order. I can't. Mother! Rubber bushing, which I don't know which one it is. Rear of shore truck of Gorba cap. Right, so that's fine. And the rear suspension upper arm. Fine. No problem, boss. I can do that for you, boss. Charge you triple, asshole. It's 84%, you bitch. You, you dirty slut. Is it just those rubber bushings from that? No. Fine, so inventory, that needs to be 100%, okay, uh, this wheel is fine, so, and the cap, wasn't it, it was the cap, fine, let's take the cap off first, and, was it this bushing, do I need to, was it the small bushing, no, I think it was a regular rubber bushing, wasn't it, yeah, it was, but I don't know where, rear shock absorber cap, I'm going to do now, Rubber bushing could be from that same one, I guess. Rear suspension, upper arm. Okay, fine. Let's buy these parts. One of them. One of them. One of them, just in case, and one of them. Hopefully, that's what we need. I'm going to buy another rubber bushing just in case. Okay, let's try again. With two perfect. It's a small rubber bushing, is it? Well, I did, that wasn't on the replacement part, so I, I think that's okay. Hopefully. So, if I miss one little bit, you won't take it back unless it's literally perfect. Like, the car's fine, dude. You're not gonna die in this, this car. You want everything to be 100%. If you wanna restore the car, then. The daddy ain't gonna notice! Bloody 11% degradation to something under the car, you twat. Rubber bushing. Two rubber bushings. But where? 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 Where, bro? Where? What's this rubber bushing? 89. Maybe it is this one. So 
So I put a perfect one in there. And it was another one, so I'm gonna have to buy another one first anyway. Hmm. Montage, you do, you do, looking for it, looking for it, looking 89%. There you go. Can I put it in? Right, now is this card done? You no. Know. Let's buy another rubber bushing. My guy bloody loves replacing them. Is it in fact this one? Look how many, look how bloody many I've got, and they're all eighty nine percent. They're bloody fine. Is it that? It is. Thank God. All right, fine. Can we? Can we? Let's move it to the entrance. And I'll get a nice picture for the thumbnail. And then we will finish the game. Did I put the lighting? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, good. That's a lovely thumbnail picture, right? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> um, car status? Finish. Sweet. Finally, we done it. Whoop, and we're level 12. Can we unlock the bigger... Big level, level that words. Can we get the bigger... Bigger one? Yes, we can get the big one. Uh, and we'll finish the episode on the expanded garage. Where we have the office. And we have a second lifter here. We just need the damn paint. And we will be lovely jubbly. What is this? A story true. I think it said warehouse, right? Can I put all of this crap in there? Yes. Yes. Because eventually we'll be able to repair it perfectly. Uh, like level 35 million or something. What is it? Let's check. Uh, yeah, level 35, you can repair body parts. Okay, guys. Well, we have done it. I think I... Ooh, no, I won't. No, I won't. No, there's no, 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 no yet. Let's check if there is a barn. There is a barn. We don't have much money. So we'll come back to that. I can go junkyard. No, I think that's going to be an episode for next time. So guys, if you like this episode, please give it a good thumbs up. And if you didn't like this episode, give it two thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. We're giving away a free submarine. No scam. Free submarine for whoever subscribed on this video today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I did go down here, right? Did I? Oh, I'm lost of it. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, anyone? Anyone? No, no, no. Ten bubble up.